Anastasia Washington with NerdReactor.com, and I'm here with two operatives. Um, how did you, I mean, what's your background in the CIA? I mean, if, if we were to ask you, can you say that? I used not to be able to say that. Now oh. I can. That's a good thing. Um, once I retired, I could say that. I was an operations officer, a case officer in the CIA. I, I worked covertly in the field and overseas. Uh, the same. I was an operations officer. I had served in Asia and Latin America before I went to Moscow. I had actually studied Russian in high school and in college, and that's kind of what the interest in the CIA, and I guess that's why the CIA was interested in me that time so well us journalists just got put through the ringer of like a day in like not even a day an <laughs> hour in the life of you guys um and i noticed how calm you guys are like and how calm you have to be what what do you think makes a great agent what what characteristics do you think what makes a great operations officer is good training and um, a personality that has confidence and kind of a, a will to succeed I had uh, patience and ability to listen to people and understand them because our primary job isn't really all the, the things that you, know, you see in the film in Moscow. It's trying to recruit people to be spies, to betray their country or their cause. So you have to build up their trust if they're going to take a step like that. So uh, you need that kind of personality that engenders trust in people. Yeah, okay. Well. What do you guys think, Jack Ryan? Do you think an accurate depiction of your life? Do you think? Do you think it just ripped out the pages of your life? Yeah, exactly. Without the the, the chase scenes and the weapons no and that kind of thing. Okay. But the actual plot of the of why he was there, what he was doing, and his kind of naive entry into CIA or into the intel organization was very accurate. I mean. Often you don't know all that you're getting into before you're there. And also his human reactions, I thought, were very accurate. And what about the bumps in his road? Like, you know, keeping it from your family, um, um, trying to figure out how to balance life. I mean, all of us have stresses trying to balance life, but yes. you guys, I'm sure it's a little bit, well, a lot more heightened. Yes. Do you think that was pretty accurately depicted? No, it's a, I think a key part of the movie, and it definitely did. The, the, those are real issues, you know, conflicts, that, and as you said, it's, a, you know, an added stress to the others that other individuals have, but in our case, it's a little more, and the, I thought he portrayed that uh, very well, as well as Kira Knightley did in playing, you know, the un, unwitting girlfriend who doesn't really know what he's, uh, what he's involved in until she winds up in Moscow. Yeah, telling the spouse's story, right. or, the, or the family's right. story, yes. I mean, uh, it was that hard on your your families. I mean, did you find that balance to be difficult? Well, my children didn't know what I did for a living till I they were fifteen and sixteen. They didn't know what mom did. Wow. Yeah, it was a a very revealing moment when I told them. They were shocked. Uh, did they have any like they didn't have any clue? Around? No, they just thought I worked in in the government somewhere. Wow. Yeah, and we, we, you know, there was a time when people would never, would, wouldn't be able to tell anybody anything, but they loosened up in the sense that they realized that was too much stress. So the spouses, you know, your wife knew what you were doing. In my case, my wife eventually got hired to work in one of our overseas locations with me and then became part of the, uh, the whole clan. And in places like Moscow, the wives are actually trained with the husbands and we operate as a team. So it balances out some of those other stresses mm -hmm. and conflicts that you might have because of that strange life. Awesome. Well, I, I, I think I have time for one more question. Uh, what about electronics? Has it really heightened the spy game or has it really brought it down? Like, is it more difficult now or easier uh, with, with technology's advances? It's, uh, it's both. I mean, there is, technological advance is wonderful. It has given us lots of uh, you know, added capabilities and things, but at the same time, our, it also has done the same to our adversaries, so they use it against us. As I think I mentioned in one of the sessions before, you know, tele telephones can be tracked any place now, GPS. You don't really want that when you're wandering around the streets of Moscow or Beijing, so that's a technological disadvantage that you have to defeat by just, you know, not taking it with you anymore. And do you think dependency on it too as well? As yes, well? as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't read maps the same way, yes, <laughs> that they used to. Where am I? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I've had moments like yeah. that. Yes. You got to exactly. use a phone booth if you want to yeah, call right. someone. Right. Sorry. Right. 
Well, thank you so much for talking to us, and it was amazing working and, and It was hearing. a great day. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs>